bloody hell, it's not nice out there, is it? No, it's not. Not at all, mate. Oh, listen, David, I know, I know. David, I'm only getting on at you this time. I'm not, I promise you. Ah, he's in there having bloody fun there, is he? <laughs> I get it, David, but still, right, I just ask you to do something. God, you've seen that letter, I've handed it over to you. What more do you want from, like, you know, God, wh wh when's it going to be enough for you kicking gear? I bloody heard it before. I've heard it before, David. Listen, when someone... I don't feel safe, David. I don't. Well, uh, well, yeah, fair play. Just shut up and let me talk, David. Christ. I get it, but I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. Scroft don't feel safe. Beanie don't feel safe. And even as Ross. Ross has been bloody living in my house last two days. So, yeah. I just think, you know, you've got to do something. I'm obviously getting these letters. I've told you I think it is. I'm pretty bloody certain on it. Well, whatever. Yes. Ah, uh, I've bloody heard it before. I'll call you if I get anything. I'll let you know. But what's the point? I've done this this time. Still haven't done anything. I haven't got a clue. Bloody useless. Well, fair play. But what do you expect me to be? Happy? Of course I are. Bloody hell. How about you ring me when you got a bloody update? How about that? Well... See in a bit. Bugger off. Be useless. <laughs> Don't bloody laugh. I aren't laughing. I'm just... It's just... Get away with murder, you do. Well, I bloody hope so. I'll tell you what, if I find out he's doing this, I'll bloody murder him, and if I can get away with it, that'll be good. <laughs> it's bloody raining outside. Oh, of course it's bloody raining outside, Ross. I can see it through the window. What's wrong with you? I'm just saying, that's all. Not nice day. Is, is that guy going to be alright on his ladder in this? He's a bloody professional. He knows what he's doing. Alright, just saying. I hope he will anyway. Well, it's not my fault if he slips off. <laughs> I don't know. It's in a nice hope it stops soon. Well, that will do. you got to get them bales today. I know. I know, I'm just waiting for Jerry to call me. He told me he'd call me this morning. So, as soon as he has a lead down. Ah, oh, that's what we need, you know. We need to get back to normal. Ah, get back to normal. Bloody hell, you can't get back to normal, can I? Bloody sitting here. What do you mean by that? You don't look like being here. Bloody hell, if you carry on, you're Ruby Steve, you're welcome anyway. I don't mean it like that, Joe. I'm just saying, getting back to normal. I'm stuck in your bloody house. And I get it, and I and I do appreciate it, I really do, but I got a bit of work to do. I oh, know you popped up a few times, get it done. I know, but it's not the same as being at home. I want to be at bloody home. Well, I don't know what to say to you. I offered and you took it up. You obviously feel like it's the right thing to do. I do, uh, but I just want to get back to normal. I want to get home. And, you know, folks on me business I was doing really well after that second hand brand new day I don't want that to go backwards now do I nah it won't Ross don't worry mate and I think you'll be alright I don't know don't see that don't it just in case I know but aren't you getting cameras too I'm getting cameras same guy yeah well there you go well maybe maybe when he's done that then you can head home ah, I was thinking same well, it's up to you, Ross. There's no pressure. I want I want you to feel comfortable. So if you want to go, you know, by all means. And if you give me a bow or something. I'll stay another night, like, but I think I'd best get off after that. I need to get back to business. All right, buddy. Well, off is there anyway. I appreciate that, George. Really do. But I can't bloody eat another grumpy surprise. Bloody hell. Fine. They were nice after day one, but now... <laughs> I think I've put about 10 kilograms on since I've been here. I don't know how you do it, George. Well, I've you got an iron metabolism or a work order than you and burn it off. I doubt that, bloody hell. I, I, do you know what? I think I haven't seen you come out the house more than bloody three times in about five days. Well, that's not bloody true. I milk cows twice a day. I know, but you look at Scraft and he's bobbing up and down. He's in and out like a bloody yo-yo. And then you're here. Honestly. I'm sure that chair's bowed from the amount you sit on it. Right, right, shut up, bloody hell, Ross, cheeky bugger. What's wrong with this chair? Ah, the bloody end. Cracking chair. It supports you for that many days. 
Bloody hell, shut up, Groff Christ. Can't laugh at that, that's cheeky, that is. <laughs> You'd make the same joke. I bloody would. I would have, but still. I wouldn't sit my expense. <laughs> it was funny, though. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Are you getting kettle on while you there, Ross? I can do. I made you more bridge than you've made me. Ah, and I've made you more crumpy surprise than you've made me. Now, come on, you're a guest. You should, you know, do something for your host. Uh, bloody, I know it's the other way around. I'll have you know, George. If I'm a guest, the host should do stuff for me. <laughs> bloody hell. Right, if that's the case, then I want bloody you pay board. I ought to pay you bloody board. I tell you that now. I would to pay you board. It's a bloody offer. Can't try to get money out of that. Well, at the very least, next time we got a repair, Ross, you're going to have to bloody give us a discount. I might do, might not, but bloody I'll give it to Graf, not he done more for me than you have. I just said I made you crumpet surprises, what more do you want? All he asked for is a brew, Christ, is that, is that bloody unforgivable or something? Ah, well, he makes a fair point, doesn't he, sometimes, but he's just bloody irritating, isn't he, Scruff? you know what I mean? I don't know how you put up with it. <laughs> you just have to get through it. He always asks for a brew, and he don't do much. I do a lot. Technical decision making at its finest, day in, day out. I wrote the book on it. So don't start criticizing me. Everything you see around you, this kingdom, this palace, right? It's built by me and my ideas. Yeah, I mean, we bought this farm. Oh, uh, jo oh you're smarty, you are, aren't you, buddy? How we got smarty in the house? Christ. Yeah, we bought the farm, but is it the same? No, not really. Exactly. Have we upgraded? <laughs> Put a cow shed in and few other things. A few other things. It's bloody night and day since we got here. All right then. Anyway, right, get kettle on Ross, we'll be back in a minute, we're gonna head outside. You telling this? Oh god almighty, you're a farmer, Scroft. You know, rain won't hurt you. Farmer now, am I? Christ, I thought I was a farm hand. Same bloody thing. <laughs> right, come on, hurry up. Hey, get that kettle on Ross, don't faff about. I bloody will, bugger off. Tell you this now, or else I'll put bloody that milk in. You want to put that milk in? I bloody will. I know how long that's been in that fridge. Ah, I, I will. The one that's bloody curdled like your brain. Oh, <laughs> bloody hell, fire. Curdled like my brain now. Right, well, I'll remember that one. <laughs> I bloody hope so. Go on, bugger off. Get out of your kitchen. Hey, what? I don't know like this side to Ross. He thinks it's his bloody house now. <laughs> right, anyway, come on. Are oh, we keeping doors shut now? Oh, we bloody are keeping doors shut. Is it rain? No, it's not rain. Got to do security now. Tell you, until we figure this out, doors are staying shut. Bloody hell, George. Oh, look at that. Bloody right in your face. Christ, don't look at it too long. You break the camera. <laughs> what are you on about? I won't break the bloody camera. <laughs> you will do. Tell us three of them. Oh, I've got three, I've got two going at back, and then I've got a few being, you know, placed around farm, but God, it'll take him some time. He's obviously stopped, done not because of rain. Is that all he's got up? I don't know, we'd have to look around, but bloody I'll pay for enough. How much is it costing? This, with all these cameras, ten bloody thousand pound. God almighty. Ten grand? Well, it's not just, you know how much them cameras are about bloody... 150 quid a pop. I've got bloody fair few of them going up. Got to cover all angles, aren't I? Yeah, 10 grand. Ah, and do you know what really annoys me? I bloody referred him to bloody Ross, and because of that, Ross got a better deal than me. He's got him less. He's only paying 75 quid a pop. I tell you, I'll have that guy when I bloody see him. <laughs> what is it called? Safe View Bamwell? Ah, Safe View Bam Bamwell. Found him in Yellow Pages. Yellow pages? Is that still a thing? Oh, I don't know. Still yellow. It's got all the stuff in. Bloody hell, George. You could just search the internet. Well, what's the point when i got bloody yellow pages? I'll go through bloody yellow pages and find numbers. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, you don't have to fix stuff not broken. <laughs> I didn't even know the yellow pages still exists. Well, still exists in my house. Might be a bit dated, but still. Bloody phone rang and he answered. <laughs> Right then, fair play. Oh, God. Anyway, just stop faffing about. Let's go get some stuff done. We've got to focus and get back to normal. We've got some farming to do. All right, and what do you want to do? Follow me. Faffing about, buddy. Ross faffing about. 
can't believe he said my brain was bloody curdled. Curdle his brain. <laughs> hey, I've seen you shut up all the sheds today. Well, we've got to do that from now on. Got to make sure we keep them bloody shut, I'm telling you, Scrock. Yeah, I will do. Get under here. Take a bit of a rest, Bart, that's all. Ah. Uh. Pain in the backside, this is I need it sorting. Can't live with it, it's eating me away every morning. I keep waking up bloody stressed, I'm telling you, it's not good for me. It's not good for anyone. Just Whoever it is, is a bloody idiot, George. And they just... I hope they get, you know... I hope they get some bloody good old medicine. Oh, well, uh, I know what you're on about. That kind of medicine. Yeah, that kind of medicine, George. Bit of karma. Ah, uh, every dog has his day and all that. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, just whoever it is. Can't do it for that long. It'll, it'll catch up with them, whoever it is. Oh, no. It was me headed. I, I'm afraid, though, because I'm telling you, if, they, if I get my hands on them, I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't be resorting to violence, George. Don't don't let them bring you down to their level. Please. All right, then I won't, but it's hard, isn't it? It's, not, it's hard not let your emotion take, take the best of you. You know, sometimes that happens. I know it does, George, but you can't. You can't. Grab them by the collar, by all means, and, you know, let police do the rest, but don't be doing that, George. That ain't you. You're not that kind of person. Well... I bloody am if someone hurts me, or hurts me friends and family. And if you don't think that, you don't bloody know me. Uh, I think I know you better than you're making out. But I get it. I get it, mate. I'll tell you this then now, right? Go on. If someone hurt being in front of you, what would you do? That ain't fair, George. It bloody is. It's the same. Come on, what would you do? I wouldn't like to think what I'd do. Exactly. So bloody hell arrest me case. I know. I'm surprised how well you're getting on with Ross, you know. <laughs> well, it's for the right reasons, isn't it? Got to be here. Got to look after him. You know. He's up on there on his own. It's different for us. It's me, you and Beanie as a bloody team. You know, you you can look after Beanie and I'm alright on my own by the time you head off. I know, but me and Beanie have been staying later than normal. I know, and I appreciate that. But at the same time, I'll be alright on you. Well, I actually like it at the moment, because, you know, we've been staying a bit later. It's usually dark by the time we head home, and then it's nice knowing you've got Ross here with you. Oh, it's a re <laughs> I kind of think you're both just sitting there in your bloody pyjamas, eating some bloody donuts, watching, <laughs> watching like, die-hard films or something. <laughs> I bloody wish. Christ, if I, I found out if you leave the bloody remote, if you give the remote to bloody Ross, honestly, I'm, at one point he put bloody Strictly on. <laughs> Did he? Strictly come dancing? Ah, bloody hell, you should have seen him. He was bloody humming away and I thought, honest to God, why can't we watch bloody Rambo or bloody Beverly Hill Cops? You know, what's wrong with him? <laughs> Each to their own, George. Ah, uh, well... I'll be glad for him to go back for that reason. And and just for the record, I don't want to sit there in my bloody pyjamas with him. A nightmare, that is. In fact, that is a nightmare. I've had that nightmare. I woke up and I was crying. Absolutely crying. I was pouring my sweat from that one. Bloody hell. Sitting having a bloody pyjama party with him. <laughs> I think you'd love it. <laughs> I wanna. But no, he can stay as long as he wants and... If he wants to head back, then, you know, it's up to him. I'll feel a bit better when these camera's up, and same for him, because, you know... Uh... It's a shame he took that one down. Yeah, I know, I can't believe that. It's just typical. Ah, because we could have seen who locked him in that bloody shed. I know, he had it as well, set up. You know, we wouldn't have found out before about Tim if it weren't for that. I know, but he bloody moved out, didn't he? And he took the bloody cameras down, because he's like, my property. Trying to sell it? Why did he sell a camera? Well, bloody hell, he's an idiot, because if he kept it there, we would have had him. Maybe. They might have gone round it. He only had the one. Ah, oh, but they didn't know it was there. I mean, did you ever see that before? No, not really. It was hidden well. Ah, uh, well, bloody hell, just typical. Could have been our chance. No, things would be different now. You never know. 
Yeah. In hindsight and all that. But it's in Ross's fault. Oh no, I know it's not Ross's fault. I'm just saying. It would have been different. Yep. Well the aunt's Ross this is brew's ready. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know why we come outside just sit under a shed. You know, when we could have just stayed in. I wanna just have a look. anyway, we've got sidetracked. Answer the bloody phone, Christ. Great then. Hello? Hey up, bud. Hey up, Jerry, you alright? Oh, Marie. Yeah, good. How are you lot? Yeah, we're fine. Nothing else happened? No, nothing. Nothing's happened. George's been on phone to David today, but give him a bit of an update, but he ain't got nothing for us. No update. He's bloody useless, Jerry. I'm telling you. You need Batman. <laughs> Did you hear him? Ah, oh, bloody hear him. Anyway, do you want these bales? Yeah. We'll give it an hour or two, because rain's easing off in an hour, so I'll be back for you. All right, and Jerry, yeah, I'll head down as soon as the rain stopped. Oh, OK. See you soon, then. See you in a bit, mate. See you, bloody Batman. Go on, sort it out. It's on you, this is. Oh, tell him shut up. <laughs> See you in a bit. See you, mate. Is he ready for pickup? Yeah. He told me go when the rain's done, though. Ah, uh, supposed to be clearing off in about two hours. He just told me an hour. Well, maybe it's bloody changed them. As soon as it stops, you can head off. Yeah. Anyway, you can have that brew, but first you've got some other stuff to do. What like? I'll show you. Come with me. Right, where are we going now? Well, follow bloody me. Oh, well, I know what this is. You want me to take them sides off that trailer, don't you? Well, and I've spoke to Ross. It can't be done. Oh, bloody hell. They're heavy, they are, George. Oh, I know they're bloody heavy. Of course they are. Made out of steel, but still... Get me done, you got load all. There's some gaps in them for where they take them off. I've never done this before, George. Uh, well, it's supposed to be. You should, you should have bloody done it for that it's harvesting, really. I know, I noticed a few bits were falling through, but it wanted that much. Well, I bloody lost a few hundred quid there, I'm telling you. But we need to do better. <laughs> then. See that gap there? Oh, ah. Uh. On that one? Yeah. Couple it back as well. Right, what did they do then? Just bolt off? Ah, oh, you just put one of the forks in that, right? Take the bolts out, lift up with load all. You'll have to bring it outside, do it. All right, and where do you want you to put the sides? Uh, just put them out way for a bit, but we need to do it, because unless we're doing sal, we shouldn't have that up. Our mistake, that is. Yeah, all right, then. It wasn't too bad. I know, but still, it needs to be done properly. All right, um, I'll do it then. Do you want me to do that in the next couple of hours, then? Oh, you may as well. You haven't got much else to do, have you? Hey, I tell you what. What? I've had an idea. Fuck <laughs> you, what's your idea? I think it's a cracking idea. Just hear me out first, because it's in a bad this ain't, I'm telling you. All right then, go on, fire away. How about we go pub? <laughs> Is that it? Is that your idea? Ah, oh, listen to me. I'm just being serious now, Stroft. I am. Be good for everybody. I mean by everybody? Well, think about it, right? All this going on, I keep saying you want to get back to normal. How about Beanie, me, you, Ross, Jerry, Keith, all of us, we go to the bloody pub tonight, we'll have a good drink, some good food, and we'll bloody get merry and just try and get this all off our bloody chest. And, you know, it'll make us feel better. Uh, I mean, I'm up for that, if you are. I bloody am, ah. Let's go speak to Beanie and ask him. We can have a look at that stables. All right, then. Sure what? Yeah, I am. That's an actually a really good idea, George. Yeah, pub, mate. And everyone as well. Oh, exactly. Ross will be up for it. Beanie should be up for it. We'll have fun, are you? Where she is? Oh, she's right up there. Hey, come look at this. Oh, bloody hell. You're taking me out. Well, I took you out. But I don't know what the harvest was. You haven't told me yet. <laughs> Do you want to know? Sure, or shall I keep it from you a bit more? Bloody hell, Josh, come on, tell me. It's got to have been good if you took me out of bloody prison. Right. I'll tell you. We did bloody really well. In fact, you did really well. And I, I'm, I'm proper chuffed with what you got in the end. I am, so thank you for that. Yeah, thank Keith as well. It wasn't just all me. I know, but you did it more, obviously. You know, it wasn't just the harvest. It's everything else that goes into it. Tell me then, because I'm bloody getting soaked here, George. All right then, calm down. 
suspense. We've got to build it up. You know, it's about you know, being. We've got to do these things right. <laughs> yeah, suspense, and then I get bloody pneumonia. Come on, tell me. <laughs> right, I got in total seventy-two thousand three hundred pound. Bloody hell, fire! I'm sure that's most we've ever had. It bloody is. That's most we've ever had. That's awesome, mate. That's awesome. Right, right, come on, get in some bloody shelter. <laughs> right, then. Seventy odd thousand, mate. Bloody hell, I bet you're happy now. Ah, oh, but I've lost ten grand on bloody cameras. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you'll be able. And you know, <laughs> these cameras are going to be. There's going to be the downfall of everything. Because even after all this absolute mess that we're going through, you're going to be outside watching me work. I know you are, but like, giving me phone calls saying, stop faffing over there and stop faffing over here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right, Beanie? Yeah, I'm good, George. You? Ah, do you want to come over here a second? Yeah, can do. Everything all right? Ah, we're all right, love. Just have a chat, that's all. You, you doing okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. No problems here. Getting excited now, George. Well, I know they're doing good, aren't they? Going up. Ah, be more soon. Put the gate at the back as well, like this one. You get a proper gate and obviously stable doors will go on roof will go on eventually and ah uh, i was thinking about maybe expanding out this area here what where, where i can ride them about ah uh, obviously you're gonna have bridle path anyway but we'll talk about it more soon beanie but i'm planning to extend it out have you noticed that jump i got for you second hand second hand brand new that was <laughs> yeah it's really good george uh, i'll be more of them coming brill thanks george it's gonna be really nice to get some activity for him Oh, well, I thought, you know, a bit of fun, jump. Got to get Scroft do it, though. <laughs> You've got no hope. I ain't doing that. Come on, Scroft. No, oh, Beanie. Don't encourage him. I don't want to be jumping over them things on an horse. No way. Ah, oh, he'll get on it. He'll do it. <laughs> anyway, Beanie, right, listen up. Love, we got a good idea here. Okay. You're not doing anything silly, are you? No, oh, Beanie, when would we ever do that? Oh, it's my feelings that you think so little of me. <laughs> Don't be smart now, George. What are you thinking of doing? Oh, all right then. Sorry, love, sorry. Right, we're going to pub later, and we're going to invite everybody. We're going to try and have a good drink, a good night, and a good laugh. Mixed in with some bloody good food. Are you up for it? Um, yeah. Are you okay with that, Scarf? Yeah, I'm definitely okay with it, Beanie. I mean, I think it's going to be good. He's thinking about inviting Jerry, Keith, you know, the full band. Ross, George, me and you. So there'll be plenty of us there. Yeah, sounds good, George. I'm up for it. I'll have to go in first, Sam. Oh, no, I uh, scroff off going first. Have you seen him? He looks like a bloody sock with trench foot. <laughs> bloody hell, George. I don't like a sock with trench foot. And if I do, it's because you just got me standing out there, keeping me in suspense. Oh, have you heard him? He bloody falls for anything, Beanie. Honestly, it's not, it's not right not right with him. I'll tell you this. Now, I said to him, just wait there in, in the rain whilst I tell you something. Instead of just bloody going get cover, he just stands there like a bloody scarecrow. <laughs> it's you, George. You aren't fair to him. Oh, bloody hellfire. I can see you taking sides now. Oh, uh, well. Anyway. You're up for a pub. That's good. That's definitely three of us. I'll go speak to Ross in a minute. Scroff, when you get down to Jerry's, ask him and I'll ring Keith. All right, I'm, yeah. I'll, I'll ask Jerry. I'm sure he'll be up for it. I'll eat them. Right, Beanie, we'll leave it to you. Hopefully this rain will stop soon, so... Uh, but we'll keep an eye out over there with that stables and hopefully, you know, it won't take long and I'll give you some updates when, when I find out. And if I find any more of them jumps, I'll get them for you. Cheers, George. See you later. See you, love. Bye. Right, come on, bloody hell. And just for the record, right, we're out together tonight. I don't want you treating like a bloody date night, right? Don't start sneaking off and having your own private Ooh, date night. Because I'm telling you, that selfish behaviour, that is. George, I've never even said that once. You, you're doing this to yourself again. All right, then. <laughs> right, come on, let's go in. Bloody raining. <laughs> yeah. Have this brew and then you can get them bloody sides off. Yeah, right then. Shut door. Bloody hell. Yeah, I've just shut it. Even though that's strange when you're telling me shut the door. Oh, well, you know, times are changing. Bloody rough round these areas now, honestly. 
I'm telling you. It's like we've got gangs around. We've got bloody gangs around. There's gangs around. Where are the gangs? Oh, oh bloody hell, Ross. Don't worry. There's no proper gangs. Well, I don't think so anyway, unless this is a bloody gang. Ah, it's a bloody gang, I'm telling you. Oh, more like a gaggle. What bloody hell's a gaggle? You know, like a gang, but just not a very good one. Right, Ross, you confuse me head now. Where are these brews? Ah, they're on table here. Ah, oh, have you seen Scroff? Is that, is that me? Ah, oh, put you by a bin. Bloody hell, George, that's not fair. What are you on about? Last time you were outside, at least you got... At least you got some shelter now. So don't upgrade you in prison. Now you're bin man. <laughs> Bloody the bin. Why am I the bin man? Well, you know, you kind of start sitting out with the... You know, you can't get in the elite club over here yet. You haven't done enough. But I just made you 70-odd thousand. 70-odd thousand? What for? Oh, bloody hell. you got a big gob, haven't you? Nothing, Ross. Don't worry. Uh, what's he in 70-odd thousand for? He told me he was skint the other day. He's never skint, Ross. Every time he says it, he never believes me. He's got more money than he needs. You're a bloody bugger, you are, George. You told me you... You said to me that I couldn't bloody do that thing for you because you didn't have enough money. Well, no, that's not what I said, actually. It bloody is. And I told you they need a service now. No, they don't. It. It's just I don't think it's worth the money. Well, if you bloody ain't 70 on bloody thousand pound from your harvest, it is. I never said it was the harvest. Well, what else is it going to bloody be, George? Because it's harvest. I, I want born yesterday. Ah, uh, but Ross, you're forgetting. I've lost 10,000 on bloody cameras so i'm actually down 10 grand so the money i had spare from that you know well i lost it on cameras you speak bloody waffle and you know you do <laughs> i'll tell you what i'd eat a few waffles now we got any waffles <laughs> look at this i'm having me brew and then i'm heading out i'll have some waffles steve if you got him george i'll oh, check freezer <laughs> It's the lazy arm borrower. <laughs> Bloody hell, you haven't called me that in a while. Well, well. <laughs> you have to, you know, you have to give it a little break sometimes. It's still funny. <laughs> it looks better, that does. That's what we should have done with bloody grain. Yeah, I know. Where have you stored them? Downside there. Oh, right well, that way. Yeah. Well, boy, well, boy. Well, I'm happy with that. Yeah, me too. Cleaned her off as well. Well, you're doing well there. Right, I'll get hooked up then. So it's 20 bales. Uh, uh, you don't need to take New Orleans for everything, you know. What do you mean? I'm going to pick them bales up. Ah, but we bloody own a fence, Croft. I know, I just like it. I like it, mate. It's my favourite one now. Uh, don't do that. Don't neglect the fence. Fence is a good track to that. It's been solid for us. Yeah, I know. I'll take fence then. What were you saying, anyway? Yeah, I was just saying, so it's 20... Ah, 20 straw bales, 10A. Don't forget it. Yeah, right then. And uh, I've already arranged a price with him. Don't worry about it. You just got to pick them up. And make sure you bloody ask Jerry. Yeah, I will do. Have you spoke to Keith? Ah, uh, I spoke to Keith. I'm Ross. It's all good. Just just need to find out about Jerry. All right, and what time? I told Keith and Ross we're going to be there for seven. So seven o'clock, meet at the pub. Ah. Uh, all right, I'm bud. Right, go on then. Stop faffing. Get them bales. Put them away as well. Yeah, I will do. I'll put them away. See you in a bit. Well, uh, see you in a bit. Right. 20, so 20 straw, 10 hay. Not too bad. I've got some straw bales still in here. I think he forgets about that. I don't even know if we need that many straw bales. I'd like more hay, to be honest, but... Because, you know, look, we've got plenty. I know we haven't got many in there, but still. It's not too bad, is it? It's been a while since I've been in this. He is right. I have neglected this. I don't know, I just like the new island. It's, you know, new tractor for us. And, uh, she's more modern. <laughs> but no, I do like the fence. I do. He is right. Anyway, we've got a new trailer at least to hook up to. And we can, uh, hold on back. I'm going to have to see where I've got space here. Because I know I need to get the hay in there. I still don't think we need 20 straw bales. I think maybe 10, but plenty of straw, but man, I got more chay, have we? 
We'll try and fit as many as we can in there, but we might have to use the other shed for the straw. At least we've got plenty of silage. Probably need to take that cover off soon. Check if it's uh, check how it's going. Maybe next month. Right, that's that done. Let's go see Jerry. See how he's getting on with his work as well. I know he's been doing. I know he did all that bailing. See, hopefully he's taking him out of the field, and I, and, and I don't have to go collect him from there. <laughs> Is that, is that Jerry out in the field? Yeah, they've got a bit of work on there, haven't they? No one behind me. No, yeah, they've got two, two, they got two of them out. Isn't that Massey and uh, McCormick out there? I can't quite tell. Oh, but they started work on cultivating. <laughs> Still waiting for the rain to stop. Bad boy. Amount of times I have that weight there, that junction. What a nightmare that road is. Right, let's see if we can. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, that Renault's kind of in the way. Now I know his A bales are stored there, so. Uh, where's his straw? Has he, has he brought his straw in? Oh, yeah, he definitely has. Race graph. Hey, up, mate, where? Where should I park? Right, um. I'll try and make it a little bit easy for myself. Ah, that'll do. Right, buddy. Yeah, good. You? Ah, oh, it's nice to know, isn't it? Yeah, much better. Much better. Right, I'm here to pick up these bales. Ah, oh, that's fine. Got all straw stacked up in there. Sold a few ready, but yeah, the twenty for you if you want them. All right. Then. And then there's ten of them round ones over there. Yeah, the hay. Ah. Oh. Bloody hell, fire, what's this thing? <laughs> you can try that if you want. Yeah, go on then, is that... I can't pick up the round with that though, can I? No, but you can do... You've got, you got fork in there anyway. All right then. Can you hear uh, workers out in the field? Ah, oh, i got both wads in today. Don't work, but bloody been sitting around for ages, twiddling thumbs, because rain but at least it's gone off now and they seem to be getting on with it so must you know it's not too bad maybe we maybe we needed a bit of rain to be honest anyway yeah the ground a bit softer for you ah and it's not too much that you know just getting making a mess but ah well yeah not too bad at all no worries then right well i'll uh i'll start cracking on i might just take you just trying to think now see how I'd start with a. All right, um, I'll take ten off you. Ah, oh, no worries. Hey, um, George is heading to a pub at seven with everybody. Literally, Keith, Ross, me, Beanie, and you're invited if you want. He thinks it'd be good for us after everything. Seven o'clock. Uh, I'll try my very best because obviously got them lads out. You know, I don't want to. If they, if they, they've started a bit late, but I'll try. We should do, but just tell George. Oh, it's not a definite, but I'll try my very best. All right, and bud, no worries. All right, and right, I'll leave you to it. You're all right doing it, aren't you? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, and see you in a bit. See you, Jerry. Right. Bloody hell, fire. That is a, <laughs> that is a tool and a half. But we're going to have to just drop that out the way. Unfortunately, you can't pick up the... I mean, we could try, but he said not to. But I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to try this. I think it might work. It's got them hooks on, so there's no reason why it shouldn't. Just have to make sure we don't do any damage here. But we have got potentially a pick up quite a few, so let's just see what we can do here. God, I picked up six. That's way too much. That might be why he told me not to do it. Um, maybe I can just pick up three now. Yeah, that's better. Makes the job a little bit easier. I mean, it's going to be 
a lot easier when we come to doing this draw. Oh, I don't like that weight though. I have to take my time. <laughs> I hope you can't see me. I'm trying to cut corners here. But it's picking them up. It's picking them up. It's just not happy. It might be best just to pick up two next time. At least the straw's going to be lighter. Right, that's three on, but yeah, we probably should change over. It's a shame because it does the job really well, but we'll just pick up two at a time. We'll go back to the, the actual right tool. <laughs> I'd love to get out on that field and do that job, to be honest. I don't mind stacking bales or anything, but still think it's, you know, a much better job to do that. Right, let's see if we can just drag this. Do you think that'll be steady? Bloody hope so, Jerry. Well, how many you got? You got the full ten there. And you got 12 there. And you only got to come back for eight then. I wouldn't like to put any more on. No, no. Yeah, you should be alright. You just have to take your time. I will do, don't you worry about that. Last thing I want to do right now is annoy George. <laughs> oh. Right, well, let him know I should be up the pub actually thinking about it. They're not doing too bad. One of them's on to the third field, so yeah, they're getting through it. So yeah, just tell him I'll be up there for seven. All right, and Jerry, no problem. Hey, have you decided about that bail yet? No, not yet. <laughs> you really want me up that, don't you? Jerry, if you're going to keep asking me to do work and you've got that bailer, I'd even take a disc out. <laughs> would you? I bloody would to use that, yeah. It's fun for me to use, so yeah. Should do, mate. Well, all right, then I'll uh, keep that in mind, then. <laughs> all right, see you in a minute. Yeah, I'll be back down, don't worry. Might have a brew up there, but I'll be back straight down for them last eight. Okay, see you in a bit. See you, mate. Let's go steady. I'm trying to think, should I go through the gate? Because I know they're open. Uh, no, I'll go this way. It's probably better. I mean, it's not a bad entrance, is it? It's just a tight turn to go left up that road. I feel like this is a little bit easier. I have overloaded it. I should have just... I've got to do second trip. I should have just spread it out a bit more. But I'll learn. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if they drop off, I'll learn that way. But Jerry, Jerry said it should be alright, so I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go with that kind of confidence. It feels like a fair amount, though, on the back of this. go well, I was worried about that then <laughs> right let's go drop these off we'll let George know as well that he's coming to the pub but I think that's everyone it's a good idea by George he is spot on and should hopefully get back to normal you know it'll distract us for a bit keep in mind off this stupidity that's going on silly as it is uh, at least we haven't had any other letters <laughs> God here, okay. We just have to take a time around corners. <laughs> Next time I won't load it as, as much. I think I've said that before, though. I have definitely said that before. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's just plonk it here. That should work fine. Half past one, not too bad at all. Plenty of time to get through this. It's a nice day now as well. Hey up, buddy, you're right. Hey up, George, you're right. Oh, I'm all right. Just been speaking to the guy out front about this camera. He's cracking on now, got getting next ones up. Oh, yeah, where's he going? Back of the house here and then moving around farm. Fair play, fair play. Bloody hell, Scroft. 
yeah, I know. I've overloaded it. You bloody have, you clown. What's the race? Still got to go back and get more. <laughs> I know, but i got to get eight more. Ah, uh, you could have bloody took at least them top four off. You didn't need them. I know, I was just... Ah, uh, you're being young and bloody stupid, trying to do too much. There's no race. It's half one. <laughs> I know, I know. Don't worry. I'm not bloody worried. I just don't know what you're doing. Hey, George. What's wrong? Your bloody cows are out down there. You what? What are you on about? Your bloody cows, I've just been at the bathroom looking out when I can see them down bottom. They're not supposed to be there. What bloody hell are you on about? Go bloody check, your cows are out. I don't know if you left the gate open. Scroff, have you left the bloody gate open? I haven't been down there at all. Oh, bl bloody hell. Right, cheers, Ross, reading down. What this is about? I don't know. Have you been down? No, I, I've been down bottom gate. I, this top gate, I bloody certainly should have. Let me go have a look. All right, then. Got that bloody worry in me now. Cows are out. I mean, they're in that field, aren't they, but... Well, we got three gates. You've got one at the bottom right. I don't know if he means there, but then, no, he caught, of course he won't. I don't think he'd see that from here, but he'd see the other side. Yeah, and they got this top gate. Well, that's shut, that is. Look, I told you. That's the only one I opened this morning. God knows. Oh, bloody hell, Firescroft, they're out. They're out the bloody down there. Come on, we'll go round them up. Yeah. How have they gone out of here, then? I don't know, maybe they've messed with the gate or something. He's just got a chain on a padlock. I know, and bloody last time I opened that was bloody ages ago. God, they're all the way down there, George. I know, I know, we'll get them, don't worry. Bloody cows, aren't they mischievous? They'll do anything. <laughs> yeah, look, it's open, George. Oh, bloody hell, fire. Come on, girls, get back in, go on. May as well get the ones down there and just feed them back up first. Oh, that's true. George, the chain's been cut off. You what? Look, chain's off. Bloody hell, fire, someone's done that. Someone's bloody let these cows out, scrum. I know. Right, come on, let's go. Don't want to make sense this, don't Scroft. Yeah, well, I don't want to say it, George, but... Ah, oh, buddy, no. Absolute... Chill out, George. I aren't chilling out. These are my bloody cows. Look, they're out here. It's not even my field, this is. I know, but we'll get them back. Oh, bloody hell, look at this one over there. Bloody dumb cow, what's it doing? I don't know, why is it over there? Scroff! Oh, God! Go get the bloody load all! What? No, I'll help you! Get the bloody load all now! Oh, okay, I'll get it now. Hurry up! Yeah, I will! It's not gonna be happy, George, ain't Right, come on! <sighs> Gotta get the load all! Come on, girl, come on. Bloody act changed inside to the pallet fork and get some strapping. I hope he didn't try and do that himself. Bloody hell. Right, watch out. Come on, girls, move out the way. We'll get these back, we'll get them back. They've obviously tried to get it to the water, haven't they? Where is he? Is there. Sorry, George, I, I had to get the pallet fork and the, the strap strap in. Don't worry, mate. No. Ah. Uh, no, George, no. Ah, uh, mate. She's gone. You're joking me. Oh, I don't worry. I bloody... I can't believe it. Absolutely can't believe it. I've been over to her. What the hell has this happened? Someone's done this to us, you know. Someone's bloody done this to us, Scrop. He bloody let him out and look what's happened. And I want bloody here for her as well. Would you come to known? Right, we're gonna have to get the rest of them back. 
You know she's been with us since bloody comes to one of my first milkers on this. I'm sorry, George. I'm sorry, mate. I can't believe it. Someone's bloody done that, Scroft. They have. Someone's clearly cut that bloody chain off. What do you want me to do, George? Right, we're going to have to guard him back up and I'm going to have to ring vets for her and take her away. But it's clear as hell what's happened. She's got stuck in there and she couldn't get out. But bloody heartbreaking. What a waste of life, eh? I know, George. It's not your fault. No, it's in her our fault. It's in my fault or your fault. It's them people and bloody people that have sent us these letters. I know it is. They've done this. You bloody cut that chain off and let me cows out. And look what bloody happens when people do stuff like that. What a bloody waste of a good life. I looked after that cow. Like I said, she's one of the first milkers we got, Scrum. She's had a fair few calves. She's done us proud. And then look at her now. All because bloody people. Come on, George. Let's get them back home. Ah. Uh, I'll ring vets first. You go on without me. Are you sure? Ah, oh, just give me five. I just want to be on my own for a minute. All right, George. I'll swing this load all around the other side. I'll get that one out. Ah. Uh. know what to say. If this isn't enough proof that someone's clearly out to get us, I don't know what is. You might be right, George might. We might need to start taking things into our own hands, because this is absolutely shocking. What a waste. Thank you.